In this discussion, you will get information about how to use fields underscore view underscore get method and what is the purpose of this method and how to override this method and which decorator we are using for this method. In case you missed previous discussion about how to use fields underscore get method, please check. Link is given in description. Like first, we have to understand what is the purpose of this fields view get method. I'm going to in browser. So once I will click to here in student profile, it will load search menu, search view. Then after this tree view. And once I will click here, it will open the form view. So this view part will handle fields underscore get underscore view. So based on like uh, you will get. So it means if you want to add some dynamic uh, dynamic fields, hide or show or based on the some condition, you have to display more fields. Defaults underscore view underscore get method you must have to override. We will do two practicals. First is how to override the attribute from any field. Then after we will see how to add a new field here in this form view using code, not from the XML side. And another one is we are going to in tree view and we are adding one more field here anywhere. Like to, right now we have a three fields like student name, school name and this boolean field like is virtual classes support or not. So the, we are adding one more field here. We are trying to add possible test, possible real test cases. So based on that you will also implement in your, in your project. Let's see how to do going to editor right now. We have to use something like this fields view get and then what we have to use is like view ID by default. We will add as a none then after view type by default. It's a form view then after toolbar we have to use as a false and sub menu and right now it's a false sorry and here I'm just calling super method uh, school not after self then after fields view get view underscore id equal to view id view type equal to view type then after toolbar equal to sorry toolbar and sub menu equal to sub menu and now we are adding a return statement res first we will understand this parameter the self parameter itself is a uh, record set or uh, none record set this is a view id view id means forms view id or tree view id like uh, odoo supports some many views like kanban view form view calendar view so it will add a database id it will here it will add here then after view type like as i said early like uh, there is a many supported views view types is available like form view tree view calendar view search view so on then after toolbar and sub menu by default this two parameter it's a false then after by default i'm adding here as a form and then after this view id as a none because we right now we don't know which view id we are using so i'm just simply calling uh, i will simply call the super method and it will return the dictionary format and this dictionary format will return to the view part and that view part will handle uh, the the basic XML architecture and it will it will display something like this or something like this okay so once I will click here or once I will go to this list view and again I'm going here and 
here I will add sorry I mean I'm just adding a print view uh, sorry print statement like view ID view ID print view type view type then after toolbar shop menu and here we are simply adding return dictionary ah, yes. so let me restart the service first because I added in let me refresh the patch so here I'm going again in terminal you can see view ID right now it's a false view type is a search view by default first it will call the search view then after toolbar and sub menu is by default false and return you can see this dictionary and in this this dictionary you can see this arc a R C H key which is a uh, architecture of this field uh, this search view and it contains uh, HT uh, sorry XML data it will store here so if you want to uh, overwrite this one and you want to add here more fields then you can also overwrite from that method we will see how to do it so I'm just giving you a basic overview then after you can see this is tree view what we displayed in front end and once we will refresh toolbar and sub menu is false and here you can see this code is something like this let me copy this one okay then after you can see it's it will load the form view also and the form view having a this written dictionary and here in this arc you can see like this so you can see something like this this is a XML code and whatever you want to override you have to add one uh, you have to import one uh, package which is a LXML to add or some delete or you want to update any attribute you have to do it so first of all we are trying to use this one I am going to in browser sorry here and we are trying to format you can see where it is arc Okay, let me copy this arc and uh, till till this tree view and and I'm going to browser and paste here and I will add as a tree view something like this okay and I will copy this one here and minify so you can see this is our tree view and exit tree view you will see in our form view uh, in our XML and so you can see this is our tree view name is name field then after school ID and is virtual school and the same thing you can see here like name then after school ID then is virtual school forgot about this this one it's a uh, dynamic generated by Odoo and whatever attribute you added over there it will also add here so this is the same tree view it will return from the XML and and uh, it will display here something like this then after if I'm going to here inform you you can see like this fields available right I'm going to again in terminal 
and I will copy like arc one till this form you and and again I'm going to here and uh, paste here I will remove this single quote and minify so you can see like the form view then after group inside group one more group I created then after started like name field currency ID school ID to verify I'm going to again here you can see this form view group ID sorry group then after inside group name currency school ID then after school address hobby list student fees and the and field is and this is the last field like student underscore edge you will get here okay student underscore edge so something like this you will see here and it will manipulate that XML into HTML format and it will display something like this so I hope you understood the basic uh, uh, basic architecture and basic uh, data structure of the fields view get and uh, now we are override this method and uh, first I will try to add one more field let me remove those one and here I'm adding one more condition is view type if view type is form okay first of all what we have to do is we have to import one package it's a from l xml import e3 and here i am removing this pass like i have to convert that uh, arc string into xml format so for that i have to use like doc equal to e3 then after to convert into xml and what it is like res arc keyword that key whatever inside that key it will convert into xml and and then what we have to do is like uh, right now we are not adding the field name but we are adding a label one label here anywhere okay so first of all we are adding after this name this name field so what we have to do here is like adding one more variable add field equal to doc dot x path then after double slash means from the root it will find this field attribute sorry field tag and uh, what we have to do like find the attribute name match with the name simply if name found then what we have to do like name underscore field of zero sorry dot add next and uh, in this in this method this method is using to add any field or any label or any kind of activity like CSS whatever you have to add you can add here like e tree dot element and uh, here I am using label oh sorry level spelling is not correct and here I am using one dictionary like you can add multiple multiple attributes like hello this is custom this is custom label from fields view sorry fields view get method and finally what we have to do is we have to use something like this like res arch we have to override because we added like we converted into xml and in this doc variable but this doc variable we have to also override with this arc one 
So simply what we have to do here is we have to use something like this e tree to string and that doc and then after we will simply add encoding type is unicode that's it and simply return i will add one comment here added one label in form view because you can see here if this view type is found like with this view type match with the form view then we will add then this code will execute otherwise it will work as a default simply i'm going here refresh the patch and refresh the patch So you can see here this is our fee the, uh, this is our label hello this is custom label from fields view get method so something like this way you can add and one more thing one more interesting thing is you can see here this is our field but there is no any label so that field name is a school underscore label and we will also add like uh, one attribute we will override the attribute as a string to display this label using fields view get method i hope you understood this label how to add a new label from fields view get the similarly you will add fields also using like here like you have to replace the label to field and then after you have to start your multiple attributes like string then after your value then after name and here your field name and all like required then after read only whatever you want to use you can use something like this now we are override the specific field and override the attribute how to do it let's say like address field equal to doc dot x path and here i'm using like double slash then after field Address and what is that field name in school underscore address name equal to okay and if that address field is found then what we have to do is address field so why I'm using this index here because it will uh, it will return if this X path is found then it will return in list in list of object so that's why I'm using the zero index then after what I have to do is here like set or oh sorry dot set then after what we have to do here is we have to override the label name as a string and hello this is student sorry school address that's it but so there are mostly all the developers are doing one mistake is they are just override successfully but they didn't register into arc into a arc field that's why they are doing like something like this they are restart the service and they are just refreshing the patch and still you can see that effect is not the latest effect is not available here because then didn't registered so you can see this res arc key we didn't override here also so simply we have to do something like this and simply we will add here and restart the and refresh the patch okay
you can see here still the label name is not display because over there having a one more attribute like no label equal to one still we have to override that field here like no label zero and refresh the patch so you can see hello this is cool address why I added this no label zero because if you go to here in view part you can see like this cool address this attribute having at this no label equal to one so it will also return here but uh, still like uh, there are many like I, I told you previously like there is many cases we need to see if it's not affected in form you side then what we have to do is you have to see okay this override it perfectly or not then after still it's not available in form you side then you have to say like something like this if they are pro like in label per in XML and the field having a multiple attributes and they are added like this no label equal to one then you have to mark it as a zero then after this then after this label will display in front and side otherwise it won't be work so this is for the form view I hope you understood this one so let's see how to work with the tree view like type equal to tree and simply here we are using same thing like e tree dot xml then after res arc oops sorry equal to equal to right now i have to add one field name I'm going to here front end side and go to the tree view you can see only total three fields is visible like name student name and is virtual classes support or not right now we will add as a total fees after the school name school field equal to sorry doc dot x path then after field and uh, here what I have to do is like add the right name equal to sing single court school yeah school underscore ID if school field found then what we have to do is we have to use like this where sat sorry not sat add next e tree dot element and here i have to use simply field and here i have to use as a label name or yeah the label name total fees then after comma we have to use name total fees that's it and still I have to add here like res arch e3 dot to string doc and coding equal to unicorn going to in tree view and uh, refresh the patch okay we get error invalid predict okay so this one
So let's see what we did a mistake. You can see I forgot to close these main brackets. And restart the service again. And go to browser and refresh the patch. Now it's successfully loaded and you can see total fees. So something like this way it's working like fields underscore view underscore get override attribute. added one new field in preview don't worry about this code it's available in github also and link is given in description if you need to explore more you can do from your end if you have any doubt or any query related fields view get please comment below and see you in next session and yes one more thing is I didn't add any decorator here. Usually this fields view get method will using this API dot model attribute. Let me restart the service. And uh, refresh the patch. And go to form you you can see still it's working this field name and after this label name and all if that uh, decorator is not matched with the specific fee uh, the specific method then it will raise the error while executing this code so don't worry about this one and uh, see you in next session bye bye